This week's project was inspired by a viewer comment. Yes, Liz asked about our bust up here and what is it? It's a fox. And we love foxes. Fantastic Mr. Fox is our favorite movie. So this week's quote on our sign comes from our favorite movie. So we had to make a giant, six foot wide, 18 inch tall, fantastic farmhouse sign. And it was super easy. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. This week, we're trying to build the easiest, giantest <laughs> farmhouse sign ever with the least amount of tools we can do. Really, the biggest tool will be our Cricut because we are going to make a stencil and we do need the Cricut. Oh, that's the biggest tool. But otherwise, like a little handsaw, little that's nail it. gun, <laughs> done. No big cuts. But we are making a giant sign. Kim wanted the sign to be taller than her. Yes, I saw these signs on Pinterest. I mean, I've made a few signs, but none that are six feet tall. So it is going to go horizontal, not vertical like this, but I did want it really long. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. And that supply list is really short. It's really just a six foot long, 16 inch project board and then three six foot one by twos. And some Cricut vinyl. And some Cricut vinyl. And you know, I get a lot of questions about the roll of Cricut vinyl that we have in our list of supplies. This roll, it's getting a little bit small now, but it started out as 100 feet. I think it was less than $50, right yeah. at $50. $50. And it has lasted, this is year two, we're, we're in, the second year now, right? Yeah, Next month. Year. February is two years and it is still going. So it's totally worth the money. I can't tell you how many stencils, stencil, well, stencil, 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 vinyl projects we've made with this stuff. Well, if you've seen our projects, you see how many stencils we use. We used it for the wood burning, for the painting. Um, well, I guess that's really it. Well, and sometimes we use it for our actual projects. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you adhere the vinyl to something. This is Oracle 631, not 651. 651 is that permanent. This is the repositionable 631, and I think this works well for stencils. Step two. Now we're gonna make all of our cuts, uh, both of our cuts. We're only making two cuts. <laughs> we're gonna take this one one by two and cut two pieces at 17 and a half. So before we do that, I just wanted to show you what makes this so easy is that these boards are purchased at six feet just like the uh, backer board. So the frame is the same size as the backer. All we need to cut is two 17 and a half inch pieces for the ends. Yeah. So easy. So Step three. Now we're going to stain and paint. <laughs> First try, good job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna stain these one by twos. This Jacobian, Jacobian, Jacobian. <laughs> Somebody was nice enough to correct our pronunciation of the name of the stain. <laughs> we were calling it Jacobian. Look like Jacobian, but Looks it's like Jacobian. Jacobian. <laughs> Potato, potato. <laughs> Step three, B. I don't know how to make a B. <laughs> we're gonna paint the backer. We're gonna paint that project board now. And we're gonna paint it with chalk paint with a chalky smooth finish, black. We're going in black. And we're gonna rock, paper, scissors to see who has to paint this thing. He's only wanting to do rock, paper, scissors because I lose every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh I'm painting. <laughs> That's because we did it on film. <laughs> uh, you want gloves on? Uh.
Go. Step four. We're gonna cut out our stencil while all this stuff is drying. So let's jump into the design space and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, real quick. We're gonna upload our SVG file. Garrett made this one for us. Insert your image. Comes in grouped. It's really long. 68 inches up here. And that's too long to print. So what we're going to do is ungroup this. Fantastic is 45 inches. That will not fit on a 24 inch mat. So the way you break that down is to slice it. So we're going to insert an image. We're going to put the square over the item that you want to slice. And while the square is highlighted, hold down your shift key, select your second image. Both are selected now. Click slice. Now you'll remove the parts and delete the parts of the square. And now you have a slice of your image. That's it. So for those of you that are new to Cricut, I am using a pink mat. It's a fabric mat, but it's the only clean 24 inch mat that I have. So that's the one we're going with today. My other tip here is the best way to put on vinyl onto a mat is to hold it from end to end like this and line up the side. And then once you do that, you can lay the whole thing down and it does not come out crooked. Works perfectly. Step five, we're gonna add the graphic, but first we have to weed our stencil and put some uh, transfer tape on it. To the weeding. Okay, so the trickiest part about creating this stencil is getting it positioned correctly on the board. So we've brainstormed what we think is the best way. So we've put Fantastic on its own stencil by itself, its own three pieces of vinyl. And then the words, we've put them on their own stencil as well. So what we'll do is cut out three strips that are the same, what would you say, height. width, height, height, same height so that we can get the correct spacing. So let's start with cutting our uh, letters out and then we'll show you the next step. Get this out of the way. Now, if you do not have, let me show them this craft mat. This craft mat is a lifesaver. If you do not have one of these, you totally need to get one of these. It's self healing so we can cut right on it and it's nice and long so you can use the grid marks on this mat for your ruler, which Garrett's not doing. No, oh, no. I marked it on the actual stencil. Alright. Alright, we have our letters cut. The other thing we use all the time I just bought it because it was on sale and I thought it was pretty cool, but we do find ourselves using it all the time. Is this Cricut ruler. It is 18 inches and it has a nice sharp edge and a little lip that you can hold on to. No, oh, it's not a lip you can hold on to. That lip is to protect your thumb. I cut my thumb so many times with regular, uh, with regular, what ruler? is this thing? Ruler. <laughs> with regular rulers. I really learned that, that that is a thumb saver right there, uh, not a grip. Thumb saver. There's a big scar on my thumb from messing around in art class without one of these rulers like that. Well, and I only mention it because I happen to be on, I think it was the Cricut Craft Life Facebook group and somebody was asking, is this ruler worth it? And yes, yes. I told saver. them yes and I just thought I'd share with you guys, yes. <laughs> if you've ever hopped your ruler with the, your uh, X-Acto knife, you know it's worth it. Oh, you want to apply the transfer tape first? Well, let's, do you want to cut this one? Okay, so the thing about this stencil is we thought we, we were all slick when we said, okay, we'll put everything aligned to a quarter inch from the bottom and cut it. Except that 
the S goes lower than the bottom, so that automatically puts this one up high. The F goes lower than the bottom of the word, so that put it up high. So now we have to even out our stencils and kind of cut this fantastic and make it nice and straight across. Fantastic! Okay. Alright, we've centered it, so now let's get these out the way. We're going to add Fantastic first. Before we lay down any paint, we're going to lay down some Mod Podge to yes. seal it so we get less bleeding. Alright, our Mod Podge is dry, so we're going to use some of this white chalk paint. Maybe. Not that I can't get the lid off of. Time to peel it up, see what we got, see what we got. All right, there's our fantastic. Looks good, looks, nice crisp lines. Yeah, it looks fantastic. It does, yes it does. All right, let's add these gym jammers. All right. Forwards. Step six. Now we're gonna put those one by twos on as a frame. We're just gonna tack them on with a one inch bread. Oh, that's a one and a quarter inch bread. The nail, not the guy. <laughs> That's what we got! A giant farmhouse sign. That's it. Pretty easy, huh? Very little cuts. I think the stencil was the hardest part. Let us know what you think in a comment down below. Have you made a giant sign? Are you going to make a giant sign? What's it going to say? Where are you going to put it? We have to find a place for this thing. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And it'd be fantastic if you hit that bell so that you can be notified every week of our new videos. Until then, watch something over here or like over there.